be for me. Oh, Lord. Jesus. Um, let me talk about Tessica Brown right quick. Like I said, I wasn't about to be up here for that long, y'all. Um, let me talk about Tessica Brown right quick. Now, Tessica Brown, shout out to Jay Lethal, because my boy stay posted. <laughs> man, that man stay posted. Some real shit. That's just funny as hell. Um, some funny ass real shit at that. But Tessica Brown, so this is the Gorilla Glue lady, right? Now, <laughs> as y'all know, she went viral. Okay, because she sprayed the Gorilla Glue on her head, couldn't get the shit off. All right, she got a bunch of donations, you know. Um, Somebody, a doctor flew her out to get the Gorilla Glue out of her hair herself, you know. And then, when she came back, which I wasn't aware of, she got a boob job on top of that, okay. And she got a wig, she got a little full, let me say. Um, But she got a boob job, okay. Now, here's the thing. A couple things about this video. Number one. And I like the fact that Jay Lethal pointed this out because the lady in the interviewer asked her, like, how are you dealing with all the negative, uh, negative comments, negative feedback you're getting? Everybody sending you all this hate. How are you dealing with this? And she says, oh, and mind you, not only that, before she answers this question, she actually pointed out that her that her daughter was getting bullied at school. OK, because people was coming up to her daughter, her daughter singing a Gorilla Goose song. It don't move. It don't move. My hair. My hair. It don't move. It don't. I could imagine. I could imagine what that little girl is going through because I know how kids can be. I was one of them damn kids. They did bully a couple kids. They, I ain't bullied, but I was a little egregious. You know what I'm saying? I just, you know. Nigga, I, I know. If that song was out, bro, and it was a girl I didn't like who mother did this some stupid shit like I, I could imagine, okay? So I feel for the little girl, all right? Little girl going through it, all right? Back to what I was saying about how she's handling the negative feedback. Shout out to Jay Lethal. She says how she handles the, the negative feedback. And she cries in the bathroom. She cries in the bathroom. Okay? Now, mind you, throughout this whole video, she's saying, oh, people. <laughs> she's saying, oh, people. Uh, bullying me, you know, people go too far. She talking about how she had to go through all this shit, her daughter going through it, you know, celebrities coming out speaking about her, which I will say pause on the note I'm about to, actually, let me not pause because I don't want to lose my way. Celebrities coming out speaking on her, all this other shit. She going through all of this, right? But instead of taking this experience and trying to better yourself, like, you got all them donations, maybe get a therapist. Because this obviously had an effect on your mental health. You should get a therapist. No, you don't spend your money on a therapist. You spend your money on a fucking boob job and a new lace front. Which the lace front, understandable. You a, you a woman, a black woman at that. Our hair is different. Our hair is, okay, bitch, I would have got a lace front too. I feel you. Okay, I'll be wearing lace fronts until my motherfucking edges grow back. I feel you. I'm not even judging you on the lace fronts, okay? But the boob job was more important than you going to go get some help mentally. Not even for yourself. Not even if not for yourself, but for your children, for your child. How can you not want to get a therapist, go see someone, talk to somebody about improving your mental health when you have a daughter walking around being obviously affected by it to the point where you know where you got to go to the bathroom to cry because you don't want her to see it. Uh, 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 lack of accountability. Ding, 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 ding. There we go again, guys. There's that trend again. Black women not holding ourselves accountable. Now, if it's not for us, not even for our fucking kids. Or the better, the bettering of our nation or men. But no, you can sit up here and get a boob job and you got your contacts in. She got the lace front on. You want an interview. You got millions of followers. Now, mind you, you getting all this negative feedback. She kept her page public. It's not like you went and privated your page and, you, and people just sending you mail. People are trying to get to you. People don't even know you. You, you accepted all them followers, got all that clout, accepted the free don't, I mean, the donations, the free gifts people was giving you. But you can't take accountability and go get a motherfucking therapist? Are you serious? You want us to sit here and feel bad for you? Could, could you f crying in a, in a damn bathroom? But you, you can't go get a therapist and you can afford it right now. Come on. 
Shit, if not, you could probably get enough sympathy from a black woman therapist. Shit, we won't even like hold each other accountable, bitch. One of these black woman therapists would probably offer to counsel you for free. If not, if you reached out to them, they'd probably cut you a deal or do that shit for free. Come on. Are you fucking serious? You can't put your... I mean, nigga. And I felt bad for the girl, because I will say, that's what I was about to say, the point that I didn't want to lose, um, that I was talking about with the celebrities, the celebrities going on and whatever, because they was off code. I don't know who this preacher is. Let me see if I, I might play this little part right here. I don't know who this preacher is. Hold up. Because these motherfuckers, Wendy Williams off code at. Y'all know she be cooning it up anyways, though, so I ain't surprised. And to Tessica, f*** you for being so goddamn dumb, and f*** all you folks that's giving to a GoFundMe, y'all the stupidest motherfuckers on the planet. And that's from the cousin pastor. And then we all look bad because she did. Oh, Wendy Williams and that black man, all fucking code. Off rep. Okay, off code. All right, even when the black girl, even when this girl was, okay, first went viral and everybody was saying, oh my gosh, she's so dumb. Like, how could you make a stupid decision like that? This ain't nobody gonna feel bad for you. Did it up. Okay, I was even a little hesitant. All right. I felt bad for her, but I was on some shit like, also, oh, you a grown ass woman. What the fuck? At first, especially at first, I thought it was kind of like fake. I thought, it, honestly, I thought the shit was fake. I ain't gonna be fake. I, ain't, I was like, this bitch gotta be clout chasing or something. Ain't no way in the hell. She just retarded. Uh, okay, look, but I did feel bad. Especially after realizing that it was actually real. She was going through traversal. Like, I thought, I, I genuinely was like, damn, that's kind of fucking, like, that, everybody made mistakes, bruh. You know what I'm saying? She kind of old, you know, this is a, this was a dumbass mistake. I will still say that. It was a dumbass mistake. But it was still a mistake, like, at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? I doubt she did that shit for Clyde. I don't think she did all this shit. Just to get some a free a weave, some new titties, and some clout. I don't think she did all that for this. Like I, I doubt it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I will say, like, bro, we can hold her accountable without fucking being off code. Like these dumbasses here, like Wendy Williams and and bro right there. Like you ain't gotta do a fuck Tessica Brown. Fuck her for what? Because she put gorilla glue on her own head. Why am I saying fuck her for what? For what? Let me. Black man, who hurt you? I'm about. I gotta get like the the these Lord these black women who don't like the hell the hell themselves accountable. Who hurt you, black man? Come on, man. what's going on? What are you, what are you saying? Fuck the black woman for for what? Cause she put some she made a mistake, bro. It's not that deep. Come on. Second of all, okay. So, uh, I'm sorry. Secondly, Wendy Williams, baby, you did crack, nigga. You did. Yo, she did crack. You was a whole crackhead out this bitch. Stop it, Wendy Williams. You know how much shit you talk about black Americans and black people every damn day? You're a bad luck. Don't come at the black woman who, who yeah, she got her own issues, but don't come at this black woman like that. We're all, hold up, let me put my phone up. It affects all of us. And then all of us get affected. Bitch, you been, you been a bad luck for us. Wendy, stop it. You been a bad luck, Wendy. Don't do that. Don't don't do that. We're not gonna play the blame game here. The point the finger point game now. Cause we can point right back at your ass doing crack and talk a shit about damn near every black person out here. Come on. Let's not. Let's not, let's not rewind the tapes. Let's not rewind time and go back to when you was fucking up. Stop it. If I'm not mistaken, a couple times Wendy Williams been canceled for some shit for saying some reckless ass wild shit. Who knows? I don't follow her like that because Ta-da! But come on, off code. These these motherfuckers be off. This shit is off code. Stop it. It's off code. That's just all. It's just off code. It's off code. We don't gotta do all that. We don't, we can hold her accountable without doing all that. Okay.